Hey there. This is Catherine. I am sharing the Diamond Press interactive wheel card I just received from HSN. This is part of an auto ship program. It's called Just Because, Miss You, and Hello. I've got some other videos on this product I'll link in the description. And I'm going to just start right away by cutting my pieces. It has full instructions in it, color instructions. So it's great. It reminds me of how to put these things together. And this interactive wheel is really easy. So I love this set so much, this uh, kind of line of um, interactive cards. And I've cut this pink part, which will be my base. And I have put the window in there, which will I will cover with the flower. I'm going to cut the circle and the paper brad. This is These are also components that were in the original auto ship program that you use to create your card. In this set, there is a blue plastic liner that shows you, you can see up in that top right picture, where to stamp your sentiments. You're going to spin your wheel and then you'll be able to reveal all these cute little messages. But you have to put them on a certain way. So, and again, it shows you the instructions for that. So I'm going to begin by stamping the arrow on the outer edge that's going to show me where to go, show the recipient how to turn it, and then um, I'll speed this up and I'm going to wipe this off between each one. I normally would try and rotate it, but you really can't because you can't get it in the same spot. But I love using the stamp positioner because if I don't get it on there just right, I can fix it very easily without having to start over. I have, um, since I've started making more videos, I use my stamp positioner a lot more. And I had it for a long time, I just never used it because I just make one card every so often. But when you're making a bunch, like I do at times, it makes it so much faster and also I have so much fewer mistakes. So that's kind of an added benefit. Now I have, I'm working on stamping in this inside. I've inked this up and I'm going to add that to the circle. And you can see that it's so cute with the little smiley face. And then I'm going to just gently peel off that and you've got your wheel ready to go. So I can start putting my card together. Um, the next step is I'm going to glue down this paper brad on the back, which fits perfectly. It has those three little um, pieces that you pop up. The tabs, I guess is what you would call them. And you're just going to glue down the sides of it, but you don't want to glue down the tab because that is what adheres the wheel to the card and lets you spin it. You want that to be moving and free and not glued down at all. Okay, so be sure and let that dry really well. If you, you can use a liquid adhesive or a tape runner, but just if you use liquid, make sure it dries to the paper really well. And then I've added my wheel and there we go. You can see the hidden messages popping out that way. Okay, I'm going to do some die cutting. I've already cut some leaves and this deep green, that green cardstock is from My Favorite Things. And you can also see all the beautiful stitched detail. All of these dies have the stitching on them and it is so pretty. You really don't have to ink the edges or anything on these uh, to make them stand out. And they're so pretty. And so I'm just going to run this through my machine. I'm trying to hold it. There we go. And I've got a light pink and a dark pink. And you'll see you get a little center as well. That's what you stamp to put back in your flower. And I'm going to glue the pink onto the darker pink. I love this big flower. It's so pretty, this, the shape of it. And before I do that, though, I am going to stamp. I want to stamp a sentiment on there. It has, this set doesn't have any word dies in it, but it has a lot of stamps. And this kind of brush stroke um, hello is really, really pretty. They all have these big kind of bold sentiments. So I'm just going to add, take that back to my stamp positioner. I'm just making sure that my stamping will not cover up my flower where it's going to be on the card. And I'm going to use my Gina K Obsidian Amalgam ink. And I'll just stamp it a second time. This patterned paper is from, I believe it's from Pink Paisley. Uh, I'll link the name of it. I'm not sure if it's still available. I've had it for a while. It's a like an 8x8 card uh, paper pad. And it just has kind of some birthday paper in it. I thought that would be good for this card. The, the pattern is very subtle. 
All right, now I'm ready to assemble my flower and I'm not gonna pop this up. I'm gonna keep this one dimension. Um, I have a child who's gone to college and I'm gonna be sending a lot of cards and I want them to be flat so I can just drop them in the mail anytime I am missing her. And, and I want to send her maybe a word of encouragement or just to tell her I'm thinking of her. So a lot of my cards from now on are going to be for a very special recipient. But you could easily pop these up and add some foam to add some dimension if you weren't mailing it. Um, I just, since I'm going to be mailing them, I want them to go very quickly to where she is. Okay, so I added that green flower under, I mean the green leaves, excuse me, under the flower. And then I'm going to pop that up. I did add some foam to the back and I've got a great spin going on. That foam really helps uh, pop that up. And then I've got a few of the sequins I've had forever. I've had them on my desk forever and I've used them several times in the last few videos. I've just loved the color combination together, that orange and the kind of a, it's kind of a, it's a pink, but it's got some purple mixed in too. And they have them all different sizes too which is kind of fun. So I'm going to use one orange one and then I'll add these two pinky purple kind of uh, color. Okay. And that's going to be it on this card. All right, moving on. As we go forward, I'm going to have a lot of the things already die cut and stamped now that you know how to put the card together. So this one I have stamped several of the flowers. They have these beautiful flowers. I'm just using a green. I'm not even adding more than one color. This is G14 that I'm using uh, with my Copic marker. On this one, I missed a little bit and came out of it, so I just skipped over that. So I didn't have to pull up my colorless blender and fix it. <laughs> I think that nib is getting a little soft on me and I probably need to change it. Okay, now I've got my tri-blend markers, these Spectrum Noir tri-blend markers, which I love so much. And this one is the Pink Violet Blend, and it does all the thinking for you because there are three shades on one marker, and you can just shade those together so easily. And then I'm going to come back and just blend those, and that'll be it. And when it dries, you just kind of walk away from it, let it dry, it does its thing, and it usually works out to be a pretty good-looking image. <laughs> so I don't have to think too hard. I just don't have the patience to be this incredible color. Maybe one day I'll find it, but I just don't think it's my gift. And that's okay. These Spectrum Noirs, they help make it easier for me. Okay, I've got those two colored, and then I'm going to come in with this lighter blue and color my center, and then I'm going to come back with the dark blue, and which would be my darker blend. And this is True Blue, and I'm going to blend that one in. And I've got a nice little contrast there, and then I'll be able to uh, die cut that. But it's so cute. I'm going to take some orange at another uh, Spectrum Noir marker and just color that center in. And those will be ready to go through my machine. All right. So let me add the dies on here. I will add a little bit of tape on there to just keep them. The die is pretty, edge is pretty close, and I don't want it to slip. So I'm going to tape those down and run those through uh, my marquee machine. That machine is by Diamond Press. And I just leave it on my table because it does all these small images so beautifully. And it cuts like butter. Okay, so I've got my flowers ready to go. Uh, you'll see that I have the sun and these clouds up there as well. But I do want to stamp before I start gluing things down. I'm going to say miss you. And again, it's in that same pretty font. I love this little grass die that was included in the set. It has a lot of interest in it. It's just, you just cut it once and it, it has kind of some movement with the way the blades of the grass are kind of turning in the wind. So I love that die. I think that's something I will definitely keep on my desk and use a lot. It's a pretty good looking um, grass die, so to speak. And I'm going to take this to my stamp positioner. And I'm going to uh, use Miss You, like I said. And I've got a beautiful navy from Hero Arts. This is my favorite navy right now. Uh, it's just such a beautiful color. And I thought it would look good with those contrasting um, colors with the orange and the yellow. Okay, so I've got that stamped. And now I have added my paper brad on the back for my wheel. 
I've got my wheel all stamped um, and ready to go. And then I'm going to make sure that it spins and it looks great. I love the little sun up there. And then now I can start assembling the card. I'm going to glue down the sun, but before I add it, I want to make sure my clouds are underneath. And so I'm just going to take a second here and place them and make sure that uh, the wheel is, um, that the sun is not obstructed, that my wheel will turn and that I don't glue accidentally down my wheel inside. I've done stuff like that before <laughs> when I don't pay attention to the placement. Okay, so how cute is that? It's so simple, but so pretty and effective. And I love that the dies do a lot of the work for you. Um, you don't have to create all of that. You just get to embellish it. Okay, I'm going to glue these directly onto the paper. And then I will come back with that glue. I'm just going to run it along the bottom. I'm not going to try and glue those teeny tiny blades of grass. And um, that's it for this. I'm going to add it to a card base. And you can see I've got a great spin. I'll add a little bit of foam to the back. But first, I've got a little adhesive on there so I'm using that little adhesive tool if you don't have one of those they're very inexpensive they get all the little ickies off if you accidentally stick wet fingers on your paper like I did and um, that's it that's it on that card oh no wait that's right I decided to come back and add some stickles glue some glitter glue and since I'm using alcohol markers it won't make it bleed so it's perfect for using on um, uh, travel and markers because they're alcohol they won't bleed through okay so moving on I've got this beautiful card background card base from diamond press that I've had for probably a year or so now this was included in a set a while ago and I added that onto a, a little bit larger piece of white cardstock and then I've got these glue these flowers that I've created and I'm going to glue down a few of the leaves, the greenery. I went with a lighter green on this. I used a darker green on that previous card and this time I'm just going with a little bit lighter. I, I liked the way the green worked with these colors of the flowers. Okay, so I'm going to layer those in there and you'll say, well the flowers coming through, but I'm going to cover that up. You see those little yellow circles. I cut a bunch of the uh, smaller flower frame and I will use those to fill up my flower. You can see that I have stamped them as well. I put a little sunshine, the little happy face. It's so cute with this with the sunglasses. Hugs from afar and you are awesome. And I'm just finishing up placing those leaves. I decided against that final leaf. And then I'm going to come back now and fill in my flowers. This is just a fun cheerful happy card i love the bright colors and like i say diamond press has made it really easy just by providing those dies okay i'm going to add this to a purple card base and that's it on this one okay moving on next i'm going to mini slim lines i am going to make two of these i'm going to start out i've got a, a die set that is not from diamond press but it cuts mini slim lines it cuts the layering piece and it cuts the base. And of course, I'm using those three flowers that I used in the previous card to cut those centers. I was not gonna throw them out. So now I'm gonna use those three to help create another card on this mini slim line. So I stamped the hay there in brown at the bottom. And then like I say, I'm adding these flowers on the top. Okay, and it's gonna layer onto this uh, green dotted pattern paper. This is also the mini slimline die. So it's got a perfect fit every time. And then I'll come back with this dark, this again looks black, but it's that same dark, dark brown cardstock. And I'm going to add each of those into the centers. And then I will use a white jelly roll pen to just add a little bit of the centers. Of my, I'm going to say they're sunflowers, of my sunflowers. I'm going to add that center. Okay, and that will dry very quickly. And I love my jelly roll pen. I have lots of them. I particularly use the white a lot, but they're fun for holiday cards and things like that. Okay, now I'm layering this onto the mini slimline card base. And that is such a quick and easy card. 
but I do want to add a couple of sequins. I've got this little jar. I think that's from Doodlebugs. Maybe. I've had those a really long time. I have these huge jars and they, they never get smaller. I think I'm going to be um, having them for the rest of my lifetime because uh, I only use a few at a time, it seems. But I changed my mind. I decided to use the iridescent instead of that bright gold. I think it flowed a little bit better with the uh, flowers. So I changed that up. And that's it on that card. And if you're still with me, thank you. I hope that you're enjoying yourself and getting some inspiration. I'm going to make one more mini slimline. And I'm going to make a fall themed one. It is very, 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 very hot where I am. We're at about 100 degrees most days. With the heat index and very, very high humidity. Which just makes it like um, so hot outside, I guess. And um, I'm hoping... I keep making these fall cards hoping that uh, fall will just come. My plan has not worked yet, <laughs> but I, I'm always hopeful. So I'm just going to keep keep trying. I'm trimming up some little pieces of foam. I have this foam tape that I like to use for making my shaker cards. I have cut that piece from the Slimline set. I've got these little bitty... Uh, they're flowers, kind of similar to the ones I've been working with. I think that's what made me think of them. They're a Park Lane brand. They're sequins. I get them at my local Joann's. I ordered them online. The little shaker pieces, and I've been saving them uh, for fall, and I decided I would use them in this card. So I'm going to peel off my edges and um, put this shaker card together. I've got a piece of acetate. I'm rubbing my anti-static tool on there to hopefully keep it from jumping everywhere. And then I'm going to press this down and I've got a good little shake going on. Now I created this frame that's on top just by layering two of these mini slim lines together, these slim line dies, and it gave me a nice frame on there. I wanted a good frame uh, for that. So that's how I created that. And then I've come back with a couple of well, three fall looking leaves. I cut them in fall colors, the brown, the kind of orange, darker orange, and then that light green. I thought it would be not a nice contrast with the darker green that is that paper and the little sequins inside. And I just love this leaf dye. So much fun. Okay, so I'm going to glue this last one on there. And then we'll have some nice shaking going on. I have this Hello die from another diamond press set. I don't know which one it is. I have no idea. It was loose, so it's, I have no idea. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but you could put any little word die down there. And then I'm going to add this to my card base. I made a card base with that same brown. And then you could layer a piece inside of a lighter color cardstock to write your note. So that's it. How fun is that? Love the way that turned out. I love the colors. So come on, fall. I'm waiting for you. All right. So let's recap. We've got two interactive wheel cards, and then I made three others, two with the slimline and then with the flowers. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope uh, that you feel inspired to maybe pull out the set if you have it and use it. And leave me a comment below. Let me know which card you like the best. And then I'd also like to know, do you like interactive cards like this? Um, I think these are just kind of fun and a fun little surprise uh, for the person that you send it to. So be sure and subscribe and be sure and share. And I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day.